This is the Rock and Jay Farrier. We're out here in a little springtime snowstorm trying to decide whether we're going to shoe horses here or find a barn. I thought I'd show today here a little bit about my shoe bender. This is an apparatus that I, I discovered here four years ago and since then I leave my anvil home and I just use this shoe bender. So I, I got this four years ago and I just barely I just barely went and got these new blocks here that adjust for different width of shoes. <clears throat> and in these last four years I've I've shod right around five thousand head of horses. So this thing has lasted really well. I I had to had to kind of improvise a bolt I didn't have a, on that one because the bolts hadn't come in yet but uh, this shoe bender is called the shoe master and you can find it on the horseshoe store.com but there's uh, a whole lot you can do with it so like if you want to widen a shoe you can come in here and that'll widen that shoe wherever you want or if you need to narrow the shoe, you can narrow it. Now if you want to want to turn a heel, I can adjust just these to whatever you need. So if I want to turn the heel on that shoe, I can adjust it to what I need and I can bend that heel to wherever I want. And then you can adjust for the thickness of the shoe. So if you want to turn just the barely barely the end of it I can come in there and I can turn just the end of it now if you want to make a hind shoe you can come in there and put that right there and bend that side flat come and bend that side flat let's say you've got a horse that's got a really pointed hind foot I can come in there and I can adjust of course I can adjust that there and I can bring that in there and I can bring that one right there and that makes a pointed hind foot now if I want to say I've got a horse that's uh, that's a number two say I've got a horse that's that's uh, got a problem and needs the toe squared I can come in and widen that out then I can come in there like that. Then I can come in and bend that like that. And then I can make a, a square toed shoe. Now, a lot of guys say, can you level the shoe? So I look at that, it tweaked it a little bit. So I can come in here, lay the shoe, and I can level the shoe that way. So there isn't there isn't hardly anything I can't do on this. Like say you need to need to crank a heel right in, I can just turn that, I can bend that shoe right in like that. Or if you if you get it too much, you need to bend it out, you can come in here adjust that and you can bring it back out tool yeah. won't come with this this is a piece of sucker rod out of the oil field and I have I have it in there they come they come with just this pipe here but I I decided that uh, that you that I could uh, have a little leverage and I also added this here because there's this gets a little bit loose it would fall off to the side so I added that and every once in a while your shoe slips and when you're pushing here you don't want to smash your finger so I got this little cheater here which then I can do it one-handed they show on the video doing it two-handed but I do it one-handed and can hold the shoe with one hand and bend with the other and then if I need to I can uh, really put a cheater on it, which I don't do very often. I, I added the magnets 
and I also um, this part was welded down here and I added this tubing and raised it up because it was lower so I got it adjusted where it's just perfect for me to use so anyway the the shoe master that's found on the horseshoe store.com this is the rock and Jay farrier hope you enjoyed the little tour of the shoe bender I've had a few people asking for that so we'll see you down the trail until next time you have a good day